Let's think for a moment about the EU's new taxonomy framework, which marks a major change towards a more realistic transition strategy. It says the capital that can be mobilized has to be used in the sectors that currently have high emissions, because only here can you get significant enough reductions. The basic elements in the strategy are the taxonomy, definitions, which identify a range of activities in the high emission sectors where we can contribute by abiding by things like um, specific maximum emission levels. There's a green bond framework which allows for a wider range of issuers and a wider range of eligible products. Think light green for transition, dark green for pure zero carbon. Disclosure recommendations that explain how both portfolio managers and companies can share the information about their exposures that is crucial for all of this to materialize in practice. Benchmark portfolio guidelines that directly state that sustainable investors cannot underweight the high emission sectors, but have to work with them, inside them, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Very interesting. The common denominator here is that instead of excluding high emission sectors from sustainable portfolios, oil and gas, the framework urges us to create a race between companies in the very same sectors to complete the transition fastest, leading to better funding costs and better access to capital. Think Orsted of Denmark, now one of the world's most prominent wind turbine producers, previously called Danish oil and natural gas, with currently zero oil and gas assets left. Going forwards, lenders and investors are likely to see it as a red flag if companies don't disclose exposures. They will shift allocations towards those that have the most credible transition plans. It's happening. 